Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the cost of web hosting. I'll explain different hosting prices, starting from around two to $15 per month with shared hosting to 80 to $500 a month with dedicated hosting. And I'll share the average cost for five of the most popular hosting types. So if you're considering web hosting and you're interested in how much money it takes to use such a server, this video is gonna be for you. Without further ado, let's get into it. Also, if at any point in this video, you'd like to try any of the web hosting services that I'm about to mention, you'll You'll find all the useful links, including discounts in the description down below to help you save some extra money. For starters, the cost of web hosting is determined by several factors, including the type of hosting selected, the web hosting provider, the plan period, and the features included. The different types of web hosting are designed to cater to specific needs and can affect pricing. For instance, shared hosting is geared towards beginners and smaller websites, while a virtual private server or VPS is intended for professionals and larger projects. It's crucial to choose a trustworthy provider to ensure optimal plans and pricing. Subscription length can, of course, impact the monthly cost, as many providers offer discounts for longer subscription periods. Each hosting type offers various plans with different resources and features, and so understanding the type of website you want to create is essential when selecting a web hosting plan. Now, let's start by talking about shared web hosting. Shared hosting allows multiple users to utilize the same server, with all websites having access to the same pool of allocated resources, including storage, processing power, and bandwidth. This type of web hosting is generally the most affordable with prices averaging around $1 to $15 per month. Hosting providers offer different pricing plans, such as Hostinger's three shared hosting options, which start from around $1.99 a month with additional discounts available through coupons and special deals. When choosing a shared hosting plan, it is important to consider additional features, such as the premium shared hosting plan, which offers unlimited bandwidth, up to 100 email accounts, and a free domain name for $2.99 per month. Longer subscription periods generally offer better deals as demonstrated by Hostinger's business shared hosting plan, which costs $3.99 a month for 48 months compared to $14.99 a month for one month. Shared hosting is a beginner-friendly option suitable for blogs, online portfolios, and small to medium-sized business websites. While it's affordable and offers excellent support, it also has some drawbacks. Sharing a server with other users can pose performance and security risks, and it may not be suitable for websites requiring extensive resources. Also, its shared nature and limited resources make it difficult to scale for larger websites. Moving on to VPS web hosting. It offers dedicated resources and hosting space, and unlike shared hosting, the user's account activities do not affect others. VPS hosting prices typically range from $20 to $100 a month, varying based on CPU, RAM, and SSD storage. Hostinger, for example, provides eight VPS hosting plans starting from $399 to $77.99 a month, including a dedicated IP and 24-7 customer support. The VPS2 hosting plan for $5.99 a month is suitable for e-commerce or multimedia websites, while online gaming requires at least the VPS4 plan for $10.99 a month to perform better. You can upgrade your VPS hosting plans without downtime, making it an excellent option for technical users who want complete control over their hosting environment. However, VPS hosting is more expensive than shared hosting and requires technical knowledge to use effectively, making it a little bit less beginner-friendly. And now onto cloud web hosting. Cloud hosting is a web hosting solution that uses a network of virtual servers to ensure high uptime and scalability. This hosting type is more resilient to hardware problems since it can switch to another server if one goes down. The price of cloud hosting plans varies between $10 and $200 per month depending on the features and resources allocated. Hostinger, for example, provides cloud hosting plans starting from $9.99 to $29.99 per month, offering free domain registration, an SSL certificate, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. The more RAM and CPU allocated, the more expensive the plan will be. When selecting a cloud hosting plan, consider your website's potential traffic. For instance, the cloud startup plan for $9.99 a month is perfect for medium-sized businesses, while the cloud enterprise plan for $29.99 a month is suitable for sites with higher traffic. Cloud hosting offers many benefits such as high reliability and load balancing. However, the web host manages cloud hosting, so users have less control over their hosting environment. Also, cloud hosting is more expensive than shared hosting and VPS, and it may pose security risks if not properly configured. Moving on to dedicated hosting. 
Dedicated hosting provides a physical server solely for you, allowing full control over your server environment, and it is the most expensive hosting option out there, ranging from $80 to $500 a month, but ideal for high traffic sites requiring consistent uptime and fast speeds. Look for plans with unlimited websites and domains and additional features like unlimited email accounts and storage. There are two types of dedicated servers, managed and unmanaged. Managed hosting offers professional support while unmanaged servers requires advanced technical skills to maintain. Be sure to check if the web host charges extra for additional data transfers and choose a plan that offers a flat fee for a more cost-effective solution. And finally, we have WordPress hosting. WordPress hosting is a type of web hosting that enhances the performance and security of websites built using the WordPress content management system, CMS. This web hosting solution streamlines the website creation process for WordPress users and offers WordPress specific features such as one-click installers and security tools. Moreover, many web hosting providers have dedicated WordPress support teams to assist their clients. The cost of WordPress hosting is generally higher than shared hosting plans, ranging from $70 a month for the standard plans to $200 a month for managed WordPress hosting. Hostinger, however, offers WordPress hosting plans starting at $1.99 to $9.99 a month, all of which come with a free SSL certificate and a 30-day money-back guarantee. The WordPress starter plan costs $2.99 a month and is suitable for beginners. Meanwhile, the WordPress Pro plan costs $9.99 $9.99 a month and includes a free dedicated IP, making it more suitable for medium-sized websites. While WordPress hosting offers several benefits such as WordPress-specific features, automatic updates, and dedicated support, it also has some drawbacks. For instance, it's not suitable for users who wish to build websites on other CMS or platforms. Additionally, some pre-installed plugins and themes may not be compatible with the user's requirements. Finally, shared servers may pose performance and security issues. So overall, web hosting costs vary depending on the hosting type, provider, subscription period, and features. Shared hosting is the most affordable option for small to medium-sized websites, while VPS, cloud, and dedicated hosting services are more expensive. WordPress hosting is specifically designed for WordPress websites, and you also need to consider other costs such as domain name registration, SSL certificates, and marketing tools. And as your website grows, you may need to purchase paid extensions and premium themes to access advanced features. So that's going to be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in hosting here, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as an in-depth review in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions. I really like getting to interact with you. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or if if you'd like to stay up to date with future videos guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video